what will happen when you get something like this and you put this into something like this. So this is a new Echo X gear soundbar. And folks, no hard wiring, no cigarette lighter plugins. It runs off a of battery. Stay tuned. You're watching Two Bears Outdoors. Welcome back. For those of you who are new to my channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification button. We're going to do a lot of different reviews. My name is Gus One Bear, your host. So I was really putting some thought how I'm going to do this review without breaking any copyright laws. So I went ahead and I called my good friend Jonathan from the Miami Bro Channel. Miami Bro Channel, another YouTuber. Say hello. Hi, hello. Miami Bro Channel. Check it out, guys. We're here. <laughs> finally met with the man. No. If you're not familiar with the Miami Bro Channel, uh, it's a great YouTube channel, a lot of fun. Jonathan creates a lot of his own music, so he was very generous to send some over my way so I could go ahead and continue on with this video and not break any copyright laws. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. guys I hope you enjoyed those clips I have a special treat for y'all <laughs> now um, just a few things on it uh, the sound bar is about 13 pounds it's about 27 inches long the sound that comes out of it I mean what do you think it sounds great. It sounds great. But of course, we've only got to listen to it like here in the house. We haven't been able to install it yet on our boat because there's going to be a big difference between being here in the house and you also have walls that can kind of make it sound a little better. And then being out on the boat where the sound is just traveling out and away. Right. And then plus when you're in the water, you're below it. And so we need to see how well it travels out and see if we can hear it when we're actually playing right. around in the water and it's up on the boat. Yeah, that's right. And it cranks out 500 watts, okay? Pretty amazing sound. The sound is very, very clear. <laughs> Um, the bass is amazing. Uh, this particular system has eight speakers. It's got two woofers on either side. They got four speakers on the front and two tweeters. Okay, you saw the clips of the light system. Guys, the video doesn't show any justice. The light system is amazing. So evidently these particular systems are relatively new and so they're kind of hard to find. Um, I did see one at West Marine, which was the one that hooks up to the uh, cigarette lighter. The cigarette lighter. Yeah. They, they got two of them. They, they got one for a hundred dollars cheaper. That's the one that you could plug it into the cigarette lighter to your 12 volt unit. Because of course, it's going to draw from the battery, and then you have this one with the external battery. So we didn't want the one that's always drawing from the battery. We wanna to try to save as much as we can on our boat battery. So with this, we thought this would be the perfect solution. And when I was trying to find it, it was kind of difficult. I actually had to go to the company's website and um, purchase from them. And they don't have many of them right now, they said evidently. I think I got one of the last ones that they have 
So I don't know. We'll see. Um, like I said, it's new. So I know there's probably still, you know, they probably didn't make a whole lot of them because they want to see how it, how it goes with people um, and what people say about them, how the reviews are and kind of figure out the tweak, you know, yeah. tweak any of the issues. So they're not even selling a spare battery for it. Yeah, I was very shocked at that. Um, I emailed them to ask about, you know, hey, do you have any extra batteries that you can sell? And they were like, well, no, you know, we haven't come up with that yet. I was a little surprised at that, but, um, you know, hopefully in the future they will come up with that, especially if they see that there's a need for it. You know, if people are buying the one that has the battery, then they start seeing that, okay, well, we, we need to come up with what our customers want and what they need so right. they can use our gear. So. Right. so supposedly they say that this is waterproof. I think it's an IPX66 rating. Um, so you're supposed to be able to, now you don't want to submerge it, but you're supposed to be able to like get a little bit wet, like if it rains or something like that. And I guess people that have ATVs, you know, you're going to be out splashing through mud and things. So it's supposed to be able to handle that. Uh, but the one thing that they do say in the manual is to make sure that all the ports are secured um, before, so if, because if any of the ports are open, then it's not waterproof. So what they mean by that is like here is the USB port on it. And you can see it's got a nice, heavy duty rubberized little door here and they say to make sure that that is pushed in tight and that seals that part and then also you have two ports here on the back um, one is an auxiliary in and an auxiliary out and, if, and both of those have a little rubberized door as well so it says to make sure that those are pushed in when you're not using them. Make sure that they're pushed in and closed well. And then, of course, you have the battery here on the back. And this is the part where we're questioning a little bit. Um, because when we got it, I was asking, and I read in the instruction manual where it says, make sure that you... Um, whenever you go to hook the battery up onto it, or if you go to put the battery into the charger, make sure it's completely dry. Um, and the charger itself is not waterproof at all. So, because they say, you know, if there's a little bit of wetness or whatever, you could have electric shock. So, um, so my question was, okay, when you take this battery off, because our unit is gonna be hooked to our boat, and it's going to be left there, but we're going to need to bring this battery home and charge it. So is it still waterproof when this battery is not hooked up? So, well, <laughs> I can't get it out. There we go. There we go. It's got two little tabs, one on each side, and you push those in and then pull out. So it's a pretty heavy duty battery there. You can see the connections on there. Um, but as you can see, you know, there's no rubberized anything there. So that's definitely not um, waterproof when it's not connected. But as you can see here, when you take that battery off, you're left with all this open. And everything should be fine, except I'm concerned about the middle where the battery connects um, because it doesn't say anything in the manual about, well, is it waterproof when you take the battery out? So when you put the battery in, there's a rubber seal here, and I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a rubber seal right here. So when you put the battery in, I'm assuming that clamps in really well and that's what gives you the waterproofness to keep the water out. Well, when, when you take it out, you have these that are open. Um, so again, I emailed the company and just said, hey, you know, um, is, it is it still waterproof 
when we don't have the battery attached because we'll have to take it out take it home charge it yada yada you know and um they the response that i got was well you know that's a good question <laughs> and uh I, i'm not really sure but i think it would be best to cover it when you don't have the battery connected so that tells me maybe they didn't really think that far ahead with this model um you know the other models are different but this one it has this big opening back here and it has that so hopefully in the future maybe they could make a cover or you know something that you could snap over this to keep it closed and waterproof and protected when you don't have your battery on there because you don't necessarily want to leave your battery now if it's just going to be overnight yeah but we usually go to our boat on the weekends so it sits all week long and usually by the time the weekend's going to be over our battery's probably going to be close to dead because we've probably used it the whole time so we're going to need to bring it home and charge it so this thing's going to have to sit like this all week in the weather which it's going to be up and under our t-top or our roof on our boat um, but still we're in south florida we get some crazy storms that come out of nowhere and sometimes it's really really windy and the rain is like blowing sideways so you know you can get some moisture up and under there so we're a little concerned about that um, we're going to try to come up with something that we can rig to put over this for now because we just don't want to take any chances um, hopefully in the future the company will be able to come up with come up with a solution for this and um, that that would really be great. preferably like a whole neoprene cover that'll cover the whole unit yeah I mean e you know either because you know this is not a cheap piece of equipment <laughs> I mean you're talking about five hundred dollars here so we want to try to take really good care of it um, and we're really excited to use it but Again, like I said, you know, we haven't even got it out there and started using it yet. And then we find out, okay, well, we're not sure about this being waterproof. We're going to have to protect this. And then, okay, well, we've only got one battery and that's all we have. And that's all we can get at this point. So, um, you know, I'm hoping that these things will work out really well for this company. And then they'll come up with more batteries because we'd love to have at least one extra, if not two. And then also just to cover for this. So, um, Okay, so you have the battery, and uh, it's pretty heavy, Substan substantial battery, and it says that it can take up to about eight hours for this battery to fully charge, uh, if it's completely depleted or just about completed, or depleted rather, and um, it says that it's supposed to run 20 plus hours. Of course, that's going to be subjective a little bit because I think it probably depends on are you just running music? Are you running music with all with the light show? Are you running music with the lights and the lights on the back, the light bars? You know, a lot of that comes into play, but we're going to try to kind of keep a timer and figure out just how long a battery is going to last us. And then we'll let y'all know in a future video. But um, I'll tell you about the light bar on the back of it. So the button, it's this, this it looks like a light bar on it. So you're going to push that and then I'm going to have to turn it around this way so you can see it. And it says that these lights in this bar, they're 280 lumens. And so in order to cycle through the different things that this does, you just keep pushing the button on the control panel. Now the remote's going to be different, but on the control panel, you just keep pushing the same button. So you see you have the different colors and then you also have different intensity of light so you can see they get a little bit dimmer and a little dimmer so those are the different modes that you have we'll all right guys so i hope you enjoyed this video apparently this is the first video on that particular sound bar because we've been looking everywhere um, we decided to go ahead and make a video of it since we're going to end up using it. Our next video is going to be the installation mounted on the boat. <laughs>
but we're going to tell you more about it and show you how it works. Um, it's where you can actually connect it to your phone via Bluetooth. And so you could like answer calls or even send calls um, and talk through it that way. With Gus being an on-call officer a lot, um, he has to be able to answer his phone at all times, even when we're out on the boat. He's got to hear it. So we're excited because that way we can be jamming out and when it's, if it's connected to his phone, then if his phone rings, he's going to hear it and he's going to know, okay, I got to get to that phone. So we're really excited about that and we'll can't wait to show you how that works. So our next video, we're going to go out to the marina. We're going to install it on our boat and see what happens and uh, show you, you know, the, uh, the pros and the cons, the good and the bad and the ugly when it comes to this particular unit. All right. So far, I'm impressed. Mm -hmm. Are you? So far? So yeah, the far, sound is amazing. Yeah. Okay, the sound is really good. And uh, all the little neat features. Um, again, it's supposed to be waterproof, supposed to be like a tank. And again, this company has been around, and this is what they specialize in. So, you know, they're supposed to uh, really hold up to the elements. So, we'll see what's going to happen. And we will put it to the test. So, we're tough on stuff. <laughs> yeah. We respect our items and we try to take care of them, but we're tough on things too. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, guys, Gus One Bear. And I'm K-Bear. And you're watching Two Bears Outdoors. See Y'all take care.